What's up, YouTube? Welcome back to the channel. And uh, today we got some pretty exciting news, man, coming out of DC. They released the first look photographs of uh, Cholo Maridueña's uh, Blue Beetle suit from the upcoming movie that's going to be supposed to be coming out in August of 2023. So I'm very excited that they finally released this and they're showing us what the suit is going to look like. Uh, we also got news of another casting of uh, another possibly major character in DC. So that is just makes it super sweet. So, so I really, really like this suit. I think this suit is very accurate as to what kind of the pictures we've seen from the Blue Beetle from his his appearances in his own titles, uh, Rebirth, very consistent to what he looked like in Justice uh, cartoon show and what he looked like in the uh, Injustice video. Oh, overall, I'm very happy. It's got like this dark rubbery part of it. I know some people saying that kind of looks a little, a little cheap, but I think it looked kind of like an alien suit, right? Because that's what this is supposed to be. Uh, an alien, the scarab that attaches to a spine, is actually part of a larger race called the Reach. Uh, that's where the Blue Beetle scarab comes from. And the Reach is this race of very advanced, technologically advanced beings. Uh, they're so strong and so advanced that they actually rival the Green Lanterns. So the Green Lanterns actually do not have a representative in their sector because the Blue Beetles do not want them there and they can actually hold their own against them. So that is why it kind of looks so alien-y. And I think I really like that. Okay. Now, I also think that there's gonna be also like a lot of CGI that they're gonna be doing with this as well. If you guys wanna kind of see what the suit looks like in action, I would suggest you guys take a look at the Injustice 2 video game. You don't have to play it. You can just kind of like YouTube some footage of uh, Blue Beetle, um, like cut scenes or even like combos and stuff. So just so you can see that there are so many possibilities that they can do with this suit. This suit is literally like a mix of Iron Man, but a little bit more organic, kind of like cyborg and stuff. Uh, and there's like so much stuff that they can do with it, especially if they do it with CGI. I'll show it a picture of Cholo without the helmet. So he looks very, very much like uh, the Jaime Reyes of the comics. If you guys check it out, uh, the first run uh, by Gif uh, Giffen, that run is a great, actually, uh, that run is very pleasurable. And he looks just like it. And they got the parted haircut with the sideburns. It looks very, very comic accurate. Now I have no doubt that he's gonna be able to pull it off. Uh, in the comics, uh, Jaime Reyes is like this uh, crossover of like Spider-Man, like a, a Peter Parker kind of guy, but from uh, Texas and uh, and it's kind of crossed over with like the powers of Cyborg and Iron Man and stuff like that. So, and, and then he's also got like this, this other elements that kind of makes him unique, like as far as his heritage and the city that he's from and the dynamics that he has with his friends. So that is very exciting. I felt very optimistic about this uh, movie. And also the second part of the news that they've released today, according to multiple sources, they says that Jason Sudeikis is, uh, might be playing Ted Kord. Now, those of you guys that aren't familiar with Ted Kord, Ted Kord was actually the second Blue Beetle. So there was three Blue Beetles in total. I don't remember the name of the first one, but he had very limited powers, uh, who found the Scarab. And then the second one was Ted Kord, who did not have any powers. He was just a guy in a suit, but he was a very important character. If you guys read like Justice League International and Justice League uh, starting from 1987, he was a big part of it. And you always had like the comedic relief with him. He was buddy buddy with um, Booster Gold. So that was kind of the dynamic they're gonna be setting. I'm not really sure to what kind of extent they're gonna be playing with Ted Cord, if this is gonna be like a flashback of uh, that Ted Cord or whatever, I don't know. But. The thing is, Ted Kord, uh, in the comics, he was in, the, in he was assassinated by Maxwell Lord, and, and this is what kind of kicked off the Infinite Crisis era, which is where uh, we got Jaime Reyes emerge from. And Jaime Reyes is just like uh, he got he had the Scarab, and for some reason Jaime Reyes had a very good compatibility with the Scarab, so he was able to unlock like the next level of the Blue Beetle. Uh, objectively, Jaime Reyes is the Blue Beetle, the best Blue Beetle because he is the one who has been able to unlock like the the full potential of the Scarab. So this looks pretty good. I'm, I'm, I'm very, very excited to see what this is. I don't know what extent uh, Ted Cord is gonna be in it, but 
anything is going to be welcome as if they expand the uh the thing the mythos if you guys want to learn more about the uh if you guys want to learn more about Jaime Reyes I suggest you do get Blue Beetle uh, volume one which started out in 2006 a very pleasurable run I think it's a very solid run if you guys want to see what uh, possibilities that they can do with the suit like I said check out Injustice 2 gameplay now if you guys want to see like what kind of gifts or gaps they can do with uh, uh, Jaime Reyes it, check out uh, Young Justice um, I forget I think it's season 2 and stuff where the Blue Beetle is in there and they kind of have like these spoofs where he's like talking to the suit it's like this him and the suit have also a relationship kind of like with Venom and it's kind of comical I, I think to to a point and it's kind of like where he's got this gap where he's kind of like everyone thinks he's talking to himself um, and those are another things that they could also use in, in the movie like there's so many things that they can do with this character that's why I felt very highly about this character and uh, that's why I like the Infinite Crisis 5 book as my spec book uh, even throughout that nuclear you know market that we went through last year i felt like this book was underrated went under the radar and like i said that those are my favorite specs uh the ones that take a little bit of time to build up because usually those are the ones that take a lot longer to cool off as well so uh yeah if you guys want to check out the videos on uh Jaime Reyes that i did before i uh, go ahead and check them out and you guys go ahead and let me know what do you guys think about this suit uh and if you guys are a fan of the blue beetle uh let me know are you guys rocking with Jaime Reyes and uh how do you feel about Ted Court what do you think they're going to be doing with Ted Court here uh because I really have no idea what extent they're going to be using him but anyways I just wanted to share that exciting news with you guys you guys uh have a good night all right peace what's up guys so I'm just going to upload a follow-up because I was actually doing more research into the subject. It appears that the whole thing about um, Ted Cord being casted has uh, kind of been debunked. That's pretty much a rumor, but it's commonplace to hear it kind of in the movies with the whole casting and stuff and a lot of speculation. So we don't know if we're gonna be getting Ted Cord or to what extent. Anyways, I just wanna check in back with you guys and uh, try to get that straight. All right, cool.